What potential should you pick for EIS? Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, or EIS for short, is when a potentiostat applies an AC sine wave to an electrochemical system. This AC sine wave is centered around either a potential or current baseline. By default, the EIS baseline is usually centered around OCP, which can be useful in some situations, for instance if you're performing a corrosion experiment. But if the redox reaction you're studying occurs at a potential different than OCP, which it usually is, then you'll need to move the EIS baseline closer to the redox potential. In fact, you can get very different looking Nyquist plots depending on the baseline. For example, let's say you run two EIS experiments, one with an overpotential of 100 millivolts and another with an overpotential of only 50 millivolts away from the E0 of your redox reaction. You would likely observe a smaller semicircle for the 100 millivolt case because the charge transfer resistance is lower. However, if you leave the EIS baseline at OCP, you'll often get meaningless results, which is why I'm often asked,